Hello, my name is Sara, and I am the new sustainability coordinator here at SparkFun. One of my first goals was to start making some videos that could help you make your home or work more sustainable. In this specific video, I have two soil moisture sensors, one of which is just a simple sensor that'll turn on an LED when your soil is dry, and the other is a more SparkFunified soil sensor that could potentially turn on and off a sprinkler system. The first soil moisture sensor is just a hacked or rewired pathway light. I got this pathway light from McGuckins, but I have seen them at dollar stores or any other type of hardware store. Uh, the only thing that I have added to this circuit is this perf board at the bottom. This is short circuited, so all of the little holes are connected together. And that's pretty important to make this a probe element. You could use a lot of other things as a probe. You could use some galvanized nails, you could use steel rods, you could use perf board with copper tape on it. Whatever you like, so long as it conducts electricity and has a resistance. Some things you'd like to consider when choosing your probes is how moist your soil is going to be. So if it's going to be extremely moist, this is a direct current going through your probes, so you can get some corrosion. Uh, if corrosion is a factor, you might want to choose a metal that is not going to corrode as easily, like the galvanized steel nails. Or you could try and encase it in gypsum, which could reduce that and also hold your probes in place. As far as the circuitry goes, most of these pathway lights has a really specific chip. The chip in mine is a XY8018. And the point of this chip is to turn on and off the LED according to what the solar panel is doing. So to rewire this to make it a soil moisture sensor, I'm just going to rewire the solar panel to go directly to the battery so that that's always charging. And instead of the solar panel going to the chip, rewire it to the probes. For more specific details on this, there's a link in the description to a tutorial that I made about this sensor. If a more spark funified solution is your soil moisture sensing aim, then I have created this soil moisture sensor, which uses most of the components from the Spark Fun Inventors Kit. This soil moisture sensor takes an op amp, which I used from our beginner's kit, and a soil moisture probe, which I ordered from Cooking Hacks. In the Fritzing diagram, which you can also access in the description of this video, I have broken down the soil moisture sensor into its base components if you don't want to order that from Cooking Hacks. This specific soil moisture sensor is specifically made to show you whether your soil is wet or dry, given on the LCD screen, as well as display your soil moisture level, which it receives from the probe. You can use this display level to initially set what levels you want it to show dry and wet. I have programmed in a variable so that you can have two different thresholds, one at which it changes to saying that it is dry when coming down from being wet, and one that it changes to saying it is wet from coming up from being dry. In the Fritzing diagram, you can see that a potentiometer is hooked up to a DC motor. You can use this DC motor to run a self-watering system, but the level at which it turns on is controlled by the potentiometer. A few things to take into consideration with this soil moisture sensor is that if you do want to have this outside, you're probably going to want to put it into a more waterproof case or have the main electronics be in a garage and extend this wire. This is the length of the soil moisture sensor I got from Cooking Hacks, but you could easily heat shrink on a longer wire. If an even more high-tech solution is what you would like, you could try and program a Raspberry Pi into this system, which we have some tutorials on, um, or you could look at our botanical set, which tweets at you when your plants are dry.